Hi, it's Don Thornton, and welcome to my uh, Don the Short Sale Guy uh, YouTube channel, my latest video. And what I want to do is I want to review an article that came out in Bloomberg yesterday that has to do with, uh, you know, the tidal wave of uh, distressed sellers. And I want to go ahead and read a part of this from, from the uh, uh, article. So uh, if you want to get the full article, you can just go to blue, just Google Bloomberg. And uh, so Bloomberg tidal wave, and you can find it there. It's I'm not going to go in and post a link or anything. You can find it on your own. But basically what it says is that mortgage companies could face penalties if they don't take steps to prevent a deluge of foreclosures that threatens to hit the housing market later this year. Uh, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is warning uh, that, uh, that it, um, hold on a second. Okay. The consumer finance financial protection bureau warning is tied to forbearance relief that has allowed millions of borrowers, millions of borrowers to delay their mortgage payments due to the pandemic to avoid what the bureau calls a, a avoidable foreclosures. When the relief lapses, mortgage services should start reaching out to effective homeowners now to advise them on ways they can modify their loans. There is a tidal wave of distressed homeowners who will need help, Dave Uyo, the CFPB's acting director, said in a statement. Servicers who put struggling families first have nothing to fear from our oversight, but we will hold accountable those who cause harm to homeowners and families. Uh, in a separate compliance bulletin released Thursday, the CFPB said that companies that are unable to adequately manage loss mitigation can expect the Bureau to take enforcement or supervisory action. Now, this is interesting. In January alone, more than 2 million borrowers postponed their payments or failed to make them for at least three months. And uh, it says here that once the government authorized forbearance plans begin to end in September, hundreds of thousands of people may need assistance in getting, on tr getting back on track. So that's a pretty interesting, that's a pretty powerful uh, statement coming from the CFPB. What I think is interesting is that, look, it has been uh, just in January alone, they hit 2 million. I mean, I, I've been saying this since the pandemic started that we're just, all that's happening now is that the, the forbearance plans are kicking the can down the road. And uh, just, I know for a fact that a lot of people are not getting their, their um, loan modifications. We were doing loan modifications uh, for most of the summer and into the fall. And I would say maybe 20% of the people that were um, applying for, that we were helping try to get loan mods were getting actual loan modifications. Most of them were being denied. Now, um, we know that uh, the Biden administration has uh, basically, um, you know, kicked the can down the road again on uh, starting up federally, uh, you know, foreclosures on fe federal mortgages, uh, USDA, VA, Fannie and Freddie Mae, Fannie Mac, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, and FHA. But you know, it, there are people that have lost jobs. There are people that have not gotten their jobs back or their income is greatly reduced. And those people are not going to qualify for loan modifications. It's just a fact. And look, we're still in a COVID situation here. And no matter what, I mean, yes, the vaccines are rolling out well and so forth, but I mean, who knows what's gonna happen by the end of September and we'll see but i mean it's not so easy to just you know snap your fingers and think that the economy for those people is going to come back i mean there's just been uh, certain sectors of the economy have just cratered and um there is going to be a tidal wave of short sales and foreclosures coming i've been saying this for a long time i did not expect the government to be so proactive on help on giving people time but it's like anything else. I mean, you can, it's like a little kid with, you know, putting his finger in a dike with that, that, with that, uh, you know, uh, folk story in Holland, you know, you try to keep that pressure, that pressure is building behind that dike. And eventually you're going to run out of fingers and the whole dike's going to break and it's just going to go. And all these things are going to start hitting. So, um, you know, I know it's, we're, we're, we're in the beginning of April now, but April, May, June, July, August, September, we got six months six months 
And I do not think that there's going to be any significant improvement in these people's situations. So we're biding our time. We're establishing our referral uh, relationships with people, and we are going to reap the rewards when the sh when these foreclosures and short sales start to hit. Because remember, USDA, VA, FHA, 100% or 97% financing, and most likely they don't have equity, and they're going to have to do short sales. Um, so anyway, that's, um, that's my uh, take on this article. I thought it was very timely. And it basically just reinforces what I've been thinking from, from uh, day one, that there's going to be uh, a tidal wave of foreclosures coming. And it's, it's somewhat amusing to see the uh, denial in, in realtor circles. I'm in a lot of realtor uh, Facebook groups. I am a real estate agent myself. Uh, and uh, the, the, the denial is laughable. It's very consistent with what I saw back in 2005 and six and seven before it really hit. I can see what was happening, but, but people think that, well, it's never going to change, right? We're going to, you know, the, the, there's this innate human feature that we never, we, we never think that, um, thing, that the, 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 the good times are going to end. And, and whenever they do end, everybody's so shocked. And it's like, you just have to look at the signs. I mean, people think that, oh, well, we don't have toxic mortgages this time. Right. No one says history repeats itself 100% exactly the way it did before, but there's tendencies, there's trends. Yes, we don't have that, we don't have that uh, toxic mortgages uh, and we don't have people getting liar loans and all that kind of stuff, but you know what? You have high unemployment. You have extremely high unemployment and that's, that, can, that can cause a tidal wave just as much as the other stuff that happened back in the day. Just because one thing's not happening now doesn't mean this, a similar situation can't develop in the market. So anyway, that's my two cents. So uh, I will see you next time I do a video on Don the Short Sale Guy uh, YouTube channel. Thanks.